Happy Christmas, everyone. everyone. Hope you've enjoyed opening your presents and thank you for joining us for our Christmas Day celebration. We're going to uh, have some thoughts and some readings and also hear some carols this morning. So over to Carolyn for taking us through the various candles that we've lit over the weeks. So our first candle was the prophecy candle when we remembered the hope of those who first spoke the promise of the coming Christ child. Then the second candle was the Bethlehem candle, symbol of love shown to Mary and Joseph and preparations being made to receive the cradle the crop for the Christ child. And the third candle is the shepherd's candle which focuses on joy, remembering the shepherds who joyfully shared the good news of the Saviour's birth. And the fourth candle was the angel's candle, reminding us of the peace and justice brought to the world by Christ and of the peace within us, knowing he is coming again. Amen. Well, today is the Advent season ends. We wait no longer this great event for which we waited has happened. God's promise of a Redeemer is fulfilled and that's what we celebrate today. Christ Jesus is born. We light the Christ candle with praise to our God who brings joy to the world. So we come to our final reading which is the first reading we read in Advent. It's Isaiah chapter 9. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. Verse 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and of peace there will be no end, and he will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Now for our first carol, Unto Us a Child is Born. Unto us a child is born solid ground so that we are now sons and daughters of the living God. 
it's right that we as Christians celebrate the incarnation of our Saviour, even if it wasn't on the 25th of December. And in amongst all the presents, the tinsel, the food and the family, remember the reason for the season. Our next carol is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Just a thought um, for today. Many times we put Christmas and New Year together and I've been thinking about um, believing in yourself and the fact that we may not necessarily do ourselves justice in what we can do and uh, what God has given us, the talents God has given us, or the facilities God has given us. And I suppose in a way Christmas is about showing people the love of God. 
and by being ourselves, who we are in God is a good thing to reflect to those around us. So I would say not just be yourself, but believe in yourself and believe in all that God has for you. So our next carol is In the Bleak Midwinter, one of our favourites. Isn't that lovely? That's one of our favourite. There's so many carols that we love um, and really reflect the reason for the season. So let's just finish with a prayer, shall we? Today, Lord Jesus, we celebrate your lowly coming as a baby in Bethlehem, even as we wait for your glorious re return. We give thanks for the hope and love and joy that you can give through knowing you and for the power of your spirit that enables us to say no to sin and yes to righteousness. Help us live today and always as your sons and daughters we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, wait a minute. Happy Christmas, Happy Christmas everyone! everyone.